So one way you can do it is if you're not gonna do it in an actual flat pattern, you can estimate. And so if you grab all of these edges, it's gonna give you a total length down here. And so that's 2209, I grab the other sides. It's 2209. So on this part, because of how it's curved, they just happen to be the same number. If you are doing a piece of like sheet metal that had other bins like this, the inside number would be smaller than the outside number. And so one way we can cheat to do bend allowances is just take the average of the two sides, so like the center line. Because the inside is being compressed, the outside is being stretched, the center line is about the average. So that's one way we can cheat to do center lines. So we could take this and we could say, we need a piece of metal 22 and an eighth, right? Long, that way we bend it, trim off the ends, make it, make it nice. But that doesn't tell us where those bends need to be, right? So if we actually wanna put that bend in, we need to know where to position it. So what's a way that I can do that? So in SOLIDWORKS, Surrounded sheet metal, we never covered this, but if you right click on the tab, go to tabs, and click on the tab for sheet metal, and that pops up here. And you think that, yeah, convert to sheet metal, that might be good. Could, could I convert this part to sheet metal? Sure. What, what's the rule of that, kind of a design rule of sheet metal? It's got to be a uniform thickness all the way through, right? Is this uniform thickness all the way through? Really? Because I see a big hole through the middle. Uh, no, yeah, you're right. It needs to be folded into the square and then welded and then folded. So, but this, if this is tubing, though, and I'm just going to bend the tubing, I just want to use this like a piece of one-inch flat bar, right? So you use the insert bend. Yeah. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new configuration. no call it no shell and go in here and suppress the shell now I've got a piece of one inch flat bar now is this sheet metal yep. is it a uniform thickness yeah. yeah I wouldn't say it's sheet metal but it's, it's plate but the yeah. sheet metal tool will, the sheet metal tool will work if it's if it's it, because it's a, a uniform thickness it's going all the way through remember I also I showed you this for doing round pipe we could do the same thing so now I can do that convert to sheet metal. Pick a face. I've given it my thickness of one inch. So it's going one inch thick. I can say collect all bends. It's gonna collect those bends going through. It's gonna come down here. I can set my K factor. It just so happens at 0.5, it's gonna basically be the same as what it was. Um, this is where we'd wanna do some tests like we did back in 22. Um, so let's say I knew my K factor was 0.45, something like that. I know that's my K factor for one inch thick at these radiuses. I put that in, and I can say OK. So now it's converted, and now I can say flatten. And there's like my piece. So I can check here, and it's 21.9. So not too far off of the 22.09 that it was before, right? But now I get bend lines here, here, here. Go, to, go back here. And so if I go back to my configurations, I go back to default. There's my part, my tubing with that. And I can just, and you can see that the, the convert to sheet metal is suppressed because it happened after I made the configuration. And I can go here to no shell. I can see it there and I can flatten it. So now I make my drawing. So I go back to default, make a drawing. My front view with hidden lines. Hidden lines. I project that. Get my asymmetric there. Shaded. 
and can and tangent edges. There, and now I can go in, make a new model view, pick that bent tube, and I want to tell it I want to use the no shell configuration, and there's my flat pattern. And there's that. I can just drag these up. So now there's my drawing with the form view and the flat pattern. Does that make sense? So we, I do this a lot with like round tubing too. I'll do, I'll do the same thing and have a sweep of this view. And then this would be a completely different part that's rectangular that I can reference on that same sheet. Okay.